morning everyone. Our presentation is regarding uh, whole, uh, whole life cost assessment of the sustainable components in uh, ABC Green University. And our presentation is consisted with the uh, introduction and background, aim and research objectives, uh, research questions, research methodology, research findings, conclusions and references. And uh, most of the time the client and the contractors are considered regarding the uh, maintain, regarding the construction cost and the initial cost, procurement cost not about the maintenance cost and the operating cost. So that uh, to have a good idea about the project, about the cost of the project, we have to identify the maintenance cost and the operating cost throughout the life, life cycle of the project. So uh, all life cost is a method which is used to identify, to assess the cost which is incurred during the life cycle of the project. And uh, all life cost is described as the total costs that are incurred or may be incurred in all stages of the product life cycle by Delizola and Kern. And uh, to, uh, to do this, we have set out some research objectives. Uh, first thing is find out the critical factors which are affecting for the increasement of the whole life cost of this, of this building and identify the remedies to reduce the maintenance and the replacement cost of the project. And under that, to identify the whole life cost of sustainable construction materials and to identify the factors impact on the increasing of project life cycle, project's whole life cost and to identify the methods to select suitable alternative materials to reduce the whole life cost of sustainable construction. And uh, to, from, the, uh, from our research objectives, we have set out some research questions to uh, gather data. Does the contractor conduct the deep analysis regarding the whole life cost? Will it be possible to face technical and economic issues by a local contractor? Do the, do the contractors aware about the alternative sustainable materials which are available in China? Uh, through, through, uh, through these research questions, we have gathered our data and uh, I would like to pass on my presentation to my colleague. So, to cover our research objectives as well as these research questions, we did a deep case studies. Uh, for that, we selected three types of buildings. For each type of buildings, we select uh, one sustainable project as well as one conventional project. And according to the, our topic, we selected uh, specific uh, specific or materials for the sustainable construction used as well as the general materials uh, for uh, for the conventional project. After that, we started to collect our data from the questionnaires as well as interviews. From the questionnaires, uh, we conduct some questionnaires with the technical people who are involved in the direct in the particular project as well as the people's uh, technical people who are outside. Also, the managers we uh, did some interview with the middle management and the top management people of that uh, particular project. So based on the data we collected, we did uh, deep analysis uh, on the data and from that deep analysis, we, found, we could find some findings. So these are the main findings uh, that we could found. That first one is this, uh, according to this project, the contractor and his employer, they mainly focused only uh, for the initial cost as well as to achieve the sustainability of the construction and they didn't uh, consider for the other factors, especially the operational and the running cost. So when we do our analysis part, we identified that that operational, so especially the running cost is comparably high for this uh, particular project than the other projects. So th there's another point is that uh, we identified that that is the knowledge of the uh, technical, especially the people who are most of the QS who are involved in this uh, project. So we identified that they don't have the correct idea on whole life cost and this uh, application of the whole life cost for a, a sustainable project because that is another found, uh, finding. And the final one, uh, other than that, there are uh, some factors directly and indirectly affect to the uh, life cycle cost of this uh, sustainable project. So. So according to our collected data, we did a call comparison, whole life comparison analysis for that we selected some uh, specific materials and uh, in the drawing we have mentioned that we selected conventional project as well as the sustainable building. We did the whole life comparison for 40 years by using this annuity and this present value. So when we did a deep analysis, you can identify, uh, you can easily see that the uh, cost for the whole life cost uh, for the sustainable building is very high compared to this general uh, conventional project. So, during our analysis part, these are the reasons we have identified that, that much of variations. That means, the special we have listed out in two ways, that economical and financial factors, as well as the technical and performance factors. That means, uh, the project, uh, in the, during the stage, they, they couldn't analyze these uh, economical and financial, as well as the technical and performance factors. Because when you take about the Sri Lanka, uh, like our country, so we don't have a per uh, economy. So our, our economy is the fluctuated economy. So always our discount rate, interest rate, and inflation taxation always change. 
So when you do a holiday fit, we are taking for more than 40 to 5 low-cost, low-care forecasting. So directly these factors are effective. So before we taking the holiday for concept, we have to identify and include these factors. And second factor is technical and performance factors. Even the purpose uh, for the materials are same, but each and materials have different characteristics, especially their life cycles and physical and functional and economical conditions. It is this changing to material to material. So these both fact these four factors are directly effect to the increase of the whole life cost of the sustainable construction. So our one of the main objective uh, to give the proposal for that uh, selected project to do uh, uh, the or selection of the alternative materials. So if they uh, did a deep analysis on this way, that means the performance factors as, as the force factor through this uh, whole life comparisons, they can go for a better decisions rather than the previous decisions. So we have did that, that means this is uh, for their, according to the usage, the material one, that is the, the use for the wall finishes. So this is, we did for the 40 years wall life comparisons and this price. And we have identified some other prices for the same purpose which are available in Sri Lanka based on the CIOV green building catalog. So for that also we, uh, considering the, including the all factors and we did the same uh, whole life cost comparison. Based on that, we got a graph like this. So this graph may directly mention that, that the, the whole life cost concept that taken by this particular project is uh, there are some decision making problems are there. So this is the main, uh, not only for the particular project, most of the sustainable construction we identified that most of the people have given importance to the design stage and the execution stage, especially for the during the design stage, they are giving the importance for the achieve the sustainable scope, especially the social environment, economic factors, and this execution stage, initial cost and the construction cost. But most of the project, they did not consider these operating cost and the maintenance cost. When towards sustainable construction, if they give the importance to these all three factors only, they can give a good sustainable to achieve the uh, expectation of the sustainable. So finally, when you come to a conclusion, if you take the developed countries, so they are now already they have reached, they already now they face the challenge successfully. That means now nowadays, the last 10 years, they have achieved even for the sustainable construction, the initial cost they have reduced. They can, uh, as well as like a conventional budget, they for the initial pro initial cost of the sustainable buildings also they reduce. The main reason the application of the BIM. But still, the Sri Lanka uh, we are fear to take the challenge involved in the BIM and these other techniques. So that is one of the main reasons we are very lag behind this sustainable construction. And second one is local contractors and the designers when they are preparing for this uh, sustainable constructions, they always giving consideration and importance only for the sustainable certifications and as well as the initial contract cost. But they did not uh, give the importance or did not cover the other points such, such as this uh, maintenance and this other operating cost they did not consider. And third point is this uh, educational institutions. Because still uh, there are a number of uh, technical like QS are but what we identified that most of the people are still in this traditional way. That means they don't have the skills uh, according to this uh, latest technology. For, for, for example, the, like the whole life cost comparison, this is a, some advanced technology. For the QS who is uh, coming from the educational institutions, they don't have that much knowledge. So this is the one of the duty to the educational institution to change the systems and may make the QS according to able to face these face the changes. And other one is this sustainable components materials. Because in here our main topic is regarding the sustainable material. Uh, material. So when consider about these materials, so the materials uh, is taking a main part of this construction. That means materials have even the materials purpose as there, but characteristics different characteristics, especially the lifetime. So in some materials even as a purpose same, but some material has a small lifetime and as well as some life have long long time. So if you have the short time, if you fix. So they have to work more, more replacement cost uh, and other things. So that's why before the select uh, sustainable, mainly has to focus on the materials of the selection. So other than the final main thing is that uh, when we uh, using this whole life cost in the sustainable uh, construction, they have to consider the other specific and general key problems also, especially uh, the data because it is a long time anticipation forecasting. So we have to consider that uh, long time forecasting. Uh, when we include a whole life uh, consideration, other than that uh, performance and technical part, just may, I have already may discuss regarding the life cycle and other things. So according to that, uh, we have, uh, on the conclusion, we have covered our the objectives and this we answered for the questions and we our problems are solved. These are the references.
And finally, we did the acknowledgement uh, for our lecturer who gave this uh, idea about these online comparisons, and as well as our lecturers who support us for to do this uh, research, and the people, the so technical people, and others who gave us to the uh, the questionnaires and this uh, interviews. Thank you.